You know, Jamaica is such a great place, but hotels here are expensive. Is it possible to stay in a great place, have a good meal, and do an activity for under 200 bucks a day? We're in Negril on the western tip of Jamaica, home to Jamaica's Seven Mile Beach, cliff diving at Rick's Cafe, and a laid back vibe in the capital of Casual. I have 200 bucks for a hotel, an activity, and three meals today. My local guide Mikey helped me find this breakfast place down the street to get us started. You sell soup and porridge, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now? Oh, we just, we just wow. on um, this is really on? funky. It's super good. It's sweet. It's got some cinnamon in it. Super tasty. Thank you. That was, uh, I think, the best thing I've ever had for like a buck. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. I, I understand the five stars, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Now that I have some energy, it's time to find a great place to stay. And you know, hotels don't have to be expensive to be great. Some of my favorite places in Tulum, LA, Iceland, Paris, and Bali were some of the cheapest places I stayed on those trips. I chose the Skylark on Negrel's Seven Mile Beach because it's a great location, the website makes it look stylish and fun, plus it's pretty cheap by Jamaican standards. As a bonus, we'll get access to the Skylark's amazing sister hotel that I'll show you later. But for now, we all know websites can be deceiving, so let's test drive the Skylark and decide for ourselves. The beach setup here is unique with the way they've set up these tents. But as cool as the tents are, I prefer to be able to look around, so I'll opt for the umbrellas. The hotel has this massage sala right on the beach, but a massage is not in our budget today. I love the mid-century inspired cement block that's used all over the hotel. That helps give the place a Miami Beach Art Deco vibe that totally works. That same vibe carries into the rooms, which I think are really well done, especially at the hotel's price point. There are fun pops of color, a mix of mid-century and modern furniture, and plenty of space. And almost all the rooms have nice patios or balconies overlooking the courtyard that the hotel's built around. There's also a writing desk and a sofa, so you could comfortably have three people in this room and probably sneak in a fourth. Let's talk about today's biggest expense, the cost of the room. I paid 167 bucks, including fees. Of course, that cost will vary by room type and time of year, but I think this is one of the best deals in Jamaica. Down the street from the hotel is Hammond's Bakery, which Mikey says is an institution in the grill, and the place to grab a Jamaican staple known as the Tasty Patty. But this is a Jamaican, this is a Jamaican specialty. Very, very specialty in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like I think it originated in Jamaica. A Thank tasty you. patty, let me see. Mm. <laughs> really good. These are a little bit of spice, which I love. Since you have uh, tasty patties all over Jamaica, on a scale of one to 10, what is this? It's like a nine and a half. Ooh! <laughs> a nine point. That's nine, serious, nine. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's almost 10. Oh wow, yeah. that, yeah, that just tastes just like I would make vegetables in my kitchen. Yeah, you guys, this guy, he's an expert. He is an expert on this stuff, so <laughs> that's saying a lot. <laughs> With only 30 bucks left, today's activity needs to be cheap. Luckily, the Skylark's right in the middle of Negril's famous and busy Seven Mile Beach. And walks are free. If you've got room in your budget, there are tons of water sport options waiting for you here that you can organize through the hotel, but you're probably better off negotiating directly with the locals. But for now, a walk down this beautiful beach is just fine. After that long walk, I'm ready to test drive the Skylark's bar, which looks pretty inviting as the sun starts to set. And I know the budget's getting low and I shouldn't spend money on alcohol, but I'm having a beer, damn it.
The hotel's colorful restaurant is called Miss Lily's. It's open for brekkie and lunch and serves food on the beach. The inside is open air with fans and views of the ocean. And there's also an outdoor dining deck just steps from the water. And that's always going to be my preferred option if it's not raining. It's also open for dinner and is pretty popular with locals, so even if you're a guest here, it's smart to make a reservation. I love these cool murals painted on the ceiling, and who doesn't love a disco ball? One of the things this place gets right is the music. A good sound system and a good DJ make for a fun vibe at the restaurant and bar. I had dinner here with friends, and one of the great things about friends is when you're on a tight budget, you can drink their wine when they go to the bathroom. Anyway, I can afford the jerk chicken, which was quite good, so I'll give these guys a solid 7.5 for food. I'm ready for bed, but first we need to see if we stayed under budget. Okay, so we made it with two bucks to spare. I always love finding unique places that a lot of you guys can afford. But here's the best part. The Skylark's owner also owns the Rock House Hotel. As a guest of the Skylark, you can take a free shuttle over to the Rock House and use their facilities and eat at the restaurants. And that's where we're headed next. Thanks for watching and see us in the next video.